common, actually. <laughs> Simple inside of the cubby. They have to check it. Taz is already looking at it, considering it. Good peek Gold. from Simple. I thought he was going to get the second as well when he went out for more. Good flash in. He will indeed get a second Ooh. in. Finds another on Neil. Bomb goes down. Flash timing is everywhere in his face. And we'll see whether Hasha can do anything about this. He's got no kit just to reiterate, man, Matt. So he needs to find his kill very quickly indeed. He's gone back towards B. No. That's all wrong. Oh, he was at A I'm already. Sorry, Pasha. It's I'm over. Sorry. It's done. He still thinks it's gonna be B. When does the penny drop? Ah, there it is. Uh, I'm sorry. This is sorry. It was like it's funny for the camera on him. You just see him shaking his head. But uh... Agent B, but Tarek gets himself a third kill, having an excellent round so far. But now it's up to Valder. 30 seconds to go. And Skadoodle is very vulnerable on the site. Needs to buy up a little bit more time because Automatic's coming around from the side. Valder's got himself a second kill. Faking the bomb out, comes out into the open and drills the headshot onto Automatic. Valder with a beautiful... This is to be a repeat performance. Finally, they get more of a stranglehold over B, but because there's so few players, they can't just go for the upright plant. They need to fake out Cloud9 and force them out into the open. Smoke in the eyes of Skadoodle, can't see anything. And another trade goes off. Config with two. And this is maybe where North starts to edge ahead in this round. The problem is, though, he's on 38 health. That's definitely in range of Skadoodle's P250. If he can just catch him as he comes out into the open, there's not that much time left. Molly straight onto Skadoodle and Config see him. Still gets clutched out from Skadoodle, though. And North had every opportunity to leap ahead. Work back B. It's triple B for Cloud9. So they're trying to put in the pressure. They've also boosted... A player lane that's going to be rushed on the roof, but AZ lines up too. It's gonna... Trying to see if anyone's actually going to try to come around, but he will actually back off into the side. As soon as he does, they will come into Arch, but Skatoodle lands up the two for one. What a time. The Lacro is there instead. As Steel gets Golden back, he was more aggressive to find Flusha as well over the top of the hood. He's taken down Lacro for good, at least for the half. Round 15, it's all down to a one versus three on Steel's good doing. And Crims is the last alive, found by Steel yet again through the wall. Perfect round for him. 10-5 for Immortals at half. Double digits for the Brazilian round as well. Like we said, they know exactly where Flusher is. Oh! What have they done? But they walk out directly into it. Yeah, they knew where he was. He had no kid either. That, they, they've just gifted it to him. He might, he's still got it as well. Oh no, he doesn't. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, so even if he gets so gifted the kills, like that, he still doesn't win. I'll have a look. I didn't see that coming. Bang. Bang. Okay, those two, fair enough. Up. I know, but these two with them that close was quite nice. I would have thought he would have gone down at that point. Certainly in favor of Morton. Now this kill will solidify it, but all of a sudden oh, it what? goes wrong. What's just Ooh. happened? Four kills for Fnatic out of nowhere. It's up to KNG. Those are the first three kills for Immortals. How has it fallen apart like that? That quickly as well. Two kills for both Flusha and Crims. I was 100% on board with the idea that the round was done. They cleared three swiftly oh, on no, entry. Again. And a small crossfire pulls the round away. Fnatic. God. They've always... Especially the customs. Especially the custom sprays. 17 kills on Forest. It's not a bad game at all, is it, Anders? How old is this guy? How long has he been playing? How is he still doing this? I don't know. He's one of those guys who's just naturally good at every game he plays. There it is from Nico. The spray, the relaxed transfer over. We're ringing all the way into the next round, and now Oscar defending that palm he put down one versus two. And they should figure out where he is really quickly here. They don't have any grenades to get rid of him, though. So he might have a very clear shot. And maybe he could save this round. He's done remarkably already. He's got the line up. Here's the bomb being tapped. Takes down all of Meister. And now Kerrigan coming in for the shot. He shoulder peeks him and Oscar to take him down for the triple. What a remark. Back in it. They need to get that bomb plant quick. That shot almost taken out. Stiko Guardian through the smoke. Dropping one. And then the second kill comes in. Taking out Robs. Well then. Guardian jumping from two kills gets dropped. One on two for Nico. Oh, I wouldn't have a problem putting my money on Nico in this particular round. He's gonna get one kill, sees the next, and a bit afraid to challenge Stiko. Wants to play for the time instead, and you can't really blame him for it either. Stiko's managed to pick up the diffuse kit and the smoke, and now he's diffusing inside of it. Nico not quite sure. One second left, and Stiko plays it perfectly. What a wonderful round for him and a
snacks if they're coming from there. And once they drop out of events, he's just got nothing. Now, I mean, that's a lucky shot from Eustillo, but he's going to get this kill. Taz, I don't think, is expecting them to come out that fast without some kind of a smoke or flashbang, and then pushing through those smokes. This is... In and taking down JKS, and he's going to have to stand up eventually. Azza still alive. <laughs> snacks ends up going down. And leaves it in a one-on-one. -on -one. Bialy versus Azza here, and everything is on the line, especially for versus Pro. They have not picked up a round yet. They need this one desperately. Az has already got the bomb down. He's got a Molotov to buy some time. And Bialy's forced him out down into the headshot position. He knows where he is. And Azza, what a headshot to take him down. The triple. And the Australians once again coming out on top. But can they find more? That is the question. XMS again with entries. Nice flick by JW. And with six of being quite low, USP may be good enough, JW. Clearly showing up for this fight. He wants to make sure that I progress through on home soil. And there we have it. He takes down a 4K. The players for Envious over this last little while. He's been really refreshing to watch. Some of the entries in particular he's been pulling off have been absolutely nuts. But like, oh, it's going to force that CZ down the throats of Envious. And keep pulling until the magazine's empty. He's got himself a third. What is happening? Envious. Not like this again. He is gonna land the headshot all the same, and now he's got an orb. What? What? Lycro's just been knocked out of his shoes. What a clutch! What a clutch from XMS.